everybody Jinsi just got announced very hype announcement and this looks to be drip marketing now the reason i think it's a drip marketing is because if you look at the style of this image and then we scroll down and we look at the yinlin picture it's in the same style right and then the Gion one's in the same style as well and those are the two limited five stars we're getting in 1.0 so i think in 1.1 we're going to be getting Jinsi probably and if we look here right here we can see their elements right so we have electro and arrow but we don't have an element for Jinsi yet it doesn't say one instead it says the name of the first area which is huang long right so i ended up looking it up on the wiki just to double check but yes this is the name of like the first city right and why that's important right is because she's the magistrate of the area very powerful character if you've seen the cutscenes and seen the story she is very powerful right she's known as one of the most respected people in the entire area and the rover's powers are said to be that of the strongest person in said like nation slash area right the reason this is important is because the rover starts out with spectro so assuming jinsi is the strongest person in that area she's probably going to be spectra as well right because rover takes the, the element or the attribute in this case of the strongest character meaning that if Jinsi the strongest character she's going to be spectro like rover is when we start out the game so that's why i think she's going to be spectro she could be another element she kind of looks like just based off the colors like she could be arrow or glacio maybe which are the ice and air elements for those of the uninitiated but i mean i think spectro is our best guess because also if there's a there's a cutscene where she uses powers that look very, very Spectro like. And I think that's another reason why she's probably going to be Spectro. But also other stuff as for, you know, why she's going to be playable. I mean, it's pretty much, I wouldn't say confirmed 100% because they haven't said she's coming in 1.1. But we can assume she's coming in 1.1 just because of the way they, you know, ordered everything with Jian and then Yinlin and then Jinsi. Hmm, very suspicious that those are potentially the three limited characters and they already ordered them in that order. But another reason is because she has the little echo flask thing where you can, after you catch echoes, you put them into that little thing. So she's going to be able to have echoes. And I feel like that's an important thing because if we're going to play her, she's going to have to have that. So yeah, I'm very excited for this character. I would probably skip Yinlin and Jian if I was only getting one of the three. Just because I love her hair. I don't know what type of style it is, but I love like the long strands of hair like this and her design looks super flowy and in game looks really good too. So this is our first 1.1 character that we're seeing. We may end up getting another one soon. So this was posted two hours ago because currently for me it is 1156. So it's yeah, it's been over two hours. So I'm assuming tomorrow we might get the next 1.1 character and when we do, I'll make a video for that as well. This video won't count towards like the everyday videos that i'm sort of doing until the launch of weathering waves because i'm doing guides as well every day just to help you guys out but this will be a separate video so if you want to see the guide that i'm making for later that's going to be a reroll guide and yeah if you guys are excited for Jinsi, let me know are you going to pull for her are you pulling for yinlin pulling for jian are you going for both what are you doing with your pulls how are you spending them i've been up for too long guys i'll see you later